suppose in a fifth variation this is x axis this is y axis if i draw a line like this then what you will say about the y intercept as well as the slope of the line so when the line is parallel with x axis that means in this case definitely slope is positive if i show the portion of the line such as ab then slope uh, slope is not positive y intercept yes y intercept is positive and what about slope slope is zero why we can say slope is zero because as i as i said here when the line is see anything which is parallel with x axis means if i need to decide the angle made by this line with the positive direction of x axis so between two line what will be the angle between two parallel line what is the angle between them zero no between two perpendicular lines angle will be 90 between two parallel lines these two lines are parallel so between two parallel lines angle is zero between two parallel lines between two parallel lines angle is zero angle is zero degree right so as this portion of the straight line that i have drawn being parallel to x axis so angle made by this line with positive direction of x axis is zero so therefore m is equal to tan zero the numerical value of tan zero is zero so that's why i am saying that slope of this line is zero are you getting it slope of this line is zero because this line makes zero angle with the positive direction of x axis so that's why it will be zero okay if i draw a line if i draw a line like this here the line is having its y intercept positive or negative tell me correct this time c that is y intercept that is negative y intercept is negative but m that is slope is zero right so either the line drawn parallel to x axis drawn it above the x axis or it is drawn below the x axis so long as it will be drawn parallel with x axis its slope will be set to be zero okay if i draw a line if i draw a line parallel with y axis if i pardon this time this line being drawn parallel to y axis that means with x axis its angle is how much 90 degree to decide the slope we always need to consider the angle made by the line with positive direction of x axis the existence of the line is on the x axis either you draw it cutting it for going further downward or not okay the actually it is appearing parallel to y axis means angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis is 90 degree so its slope will be decided by tan of this 90 degree which is infinity okay tan 90 stands infinity so all those lines which will be drawn parallel to y axis or in other words perpendicular to x axis 
their slope will be infinity getting it yes. similarly if i draw another possibility about the line suppose if a line is drawn on xy plane passing through origin this time y intercept will be zero because it is passing through origin yes absolutely see that is this time y intercept will be zero it is not cutting the y axis anywhere y intercept is zero and yes any idea see if v is equal to minus u plus at is compared with y is equal to mx plus c v is equal to minus u plus at is compared with y is equal to mx plus c right then in in this form we consider x is this one y is this one right so here also when we are writing velocity time graph velocity must be this time is this yes or no okay now check it thing which term is slope the one which is multiplied with x that means with x axis variable whatever is multiplied that is considered to be slope deciding term yes or no yes. so here as we are using time along x axis then the term which is multiplied with t a must be the slope yes. isn't it here in i can write down in v is equal to minus u plus at a must be the slope right and minus u must be the y intercept yes or no if you compare y is equal to mx plus c the term which is pure constant that is independent of time that is the y intercept so here independent of t the term is minus u so y intercept is coming negative and this is the y axis term this is the x axis term so the term with x axis multiplied is slope so that means the slope is a which is positive but the y intercept is negative so y intercept negative is only coming with the option c and slope is coming positive so yes this is the graph v is equal to minus u plus at is representing got it so it is the graph number c the third graph is justifying the v is equal to minus u plus at relation